Hello everyone, Billy Buselmeyer here, bringing you a special edition of our church's encouragement for the day videos. Our elders have asked me to make a, a special video kind of discussing some safe practices as they pertain to uh, our congregation and our assemblies now that we've got a vaccine available. The first thing to kind of talk about is the, facts, the fact that we've got several vaccines available to us all now. Um, these vaccines, I believe, are something to be thankful for. Uh, they appear to be both safe and effective. And I strongly encourage everyone, once it's your turn, to please get vaccinated. If you've got any questions or concerns about whether a vaccine's right for you or not, please talk to your doctor. However, everyone, even though we've got these vaccines, we are still in the midst of a pandemic. There is still a lot of danger right now, and there is still a great need for wisdom, wise actions, and safe practices. Um, you know, depending on what day you look at the coronavirus data for our region, maybe some days it looks better, maybe some days it looks worse. But one thing's for certain, uh, no matter uh, how good the data is looking right now, uh, all it would take for that data to start looking worse again is for people to start abandoning things like wearing masks or social distancing and staying six feet apart. Um, these things are still keeping us safe and still continue to be the right thing and the wise thing to do right now. Additionally, many, many people in our region have not been vaccinated and won't be vaccinated for a very long time. Our region does not have an inexhaustible supply of vaccine right now. You can read about that on the news, um, about people waiting in long lines for hours just to get turned away. Um, and it's going to be quite a while before a, a, a lot of people in our region actually get vaccinated. Additionally, even though these vaccines appear to be safe and effective, they are not 100% effective. You know, sharing just a little bit from my own experience, um, I take care of coronavirus patients in the hospital. I myself have been vaccinated against the coronavirus. Even though, though, that I've been vaccinated, when I go to take care of those patients, I still put on the whole nine yards, eye protection, those special N95 masks, gowns, gloves, all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, those uh, those things are still keeping me safe and doing those sorts of things also continues to help me keep other people safe. Um, all that to say, just getting vaccinated is not licensed to abandon safe practices and behave unwisely. So what are you getting at, Billy? Why are you talking about all this kind of stuff? Regarding our church's assemblies, there is still going to be need for wise actions and safe practices and a lot of caution. Our elders are continuing to prayerfully consider uh, the safety of our congregation, especially as it relates to in-person assemblies. Um, they're uh, constantly looking at the numbers and considering when it will be safe and when it will be okay for our congregation to resume in-person assemblies. Um, no matter what, though, no matter when those assemblies uh, resume, um, safe practices are still going to be the expectation. Number one, people will be expected to wear masks. Um, masks don't protect, uh, wearing the sorts of masks that we all wear out in public, those don't protect me from the coronavirus. Those protect everyone else around me from the coronavirus in case I might be infected with it and potentially spreading it to others. So keep that in mind, when you wear a mask, you are practicing consideration and love for others. Um, also at services, there will still be the expectation for folks to, say, to stay six feet apart. Gonna have to keep holding off on handshakes and hugs for now. Um, additionally, things like uh, good hand hygiene, which is always a good idea in general, that will still be a, a safe practice to be uh, expected, as well as staying home if you have any sort of symptoms or you've been around anyone with coronavirus as well. 
Uh, also, temperature checking at the front door will still be uh, part of uh, in-person assemblies as well. Um, services and Bible classes may continue to be restricted based on what the elders decide. And still, the encouragement will remain for folks. If you're at increased risk of having bad things happen to you, should you contract the virus, or if you're at increased risk of contracting the virus, um, there will still be the expectation that you prayerfully and carefully consider whether you should join services in person uh, versus joining virtually from home. In closing this video, I'd like to share an opinion. Um, I strongly believe that the actions our elders have taken over the last few months of this pandemic have kept people safe, have prevented infections, and also likely prevented some people from dying as well. They've made some very difficult decisions and they've got some difficult decisions ahead. Let's continue to be prayerful for them uh, that they continue to be guided by the Lord uh, and make good decisions. And in fact, let's close this video with prayer right now. Father in heaven, Lord, we know that you love us and that you hold each and every one of us in your hands right now. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, keep all of us safe from this coronavirus. And we pray for our elders that you would give them wisdom and guidance as they weigh all these things and consider all these things. Uh, Lord, give them uh, wisdom and guidance right now, especially as they consider um, when and how our congregation should resume in-person assemblies. Lord, help each and every one of us uh, to be strong spiritually during this time. Help us to love others and take care of each other. Forgive our sins, and in your Son's name, amen. All right, everyone, thanks again for joining me for this special video today. May God keep us all safe, and may God bless each and every one of us. Thank you.